Hello everyone and welcome along to this edition of Tool Talk and today we will be taking a look at the Stanley 84-881 Max Grip pliers that I picked up at the car boot sale last week uh, where they were my star buy and uh, yeah let's get into it so one of the first uh, tool stalls that I came across had uh, several boxes of tools. Um, uh, the box you see right here is the box that I found these little babies in. They were right at the very bottom and all I could see was the jaws. And I thought, now that looks interesting, what do we got there? So I uh, dug down and these came out. And I thought, oh yeah, I like those. I thought to myself, well they're a bit odd how they work, but um, yeah, I'll find out how much they are. And one pound later, they were in my bag. And I thought even then they would probably be my star buy. Um, what I've done is they were uh, obviously quite grubby and dirty when I got them. So I've taken um, some Solvol metal polish to the jaws here. You can see they're a lot cleaner, nice and shiny now. And I've uh, used some hot soapy water on the handles here which are in very good condition and clean those up too. There was quite a lot of uh, filth came off of these little fellows but you can see they look a little different from a standard pair of pliers because we've got this uh, slot here and there's also a hole down there and basically they work up to a certain point like standard pliers if we open them up you can see what happens there and then when they reach this point they stop but they will go a little further from the slot inside that you can't see and that's how the little fellows work and they're uh, really quite interesting um, they're only a small pair of pliers I believe they're um, six or seven inches long let's have a look yeah they're measuring about uh, six and three quarters so I think we'll call them seven inch pliers and normally I like a larger pair of pliers but because of the, uh, the nice grips on here well molded nicely finished they fit my hands very nicely indeed as you can see and I've got large hands and I quite like the design of these grips too because you've got uh, this one here which is different from the one underneath and this is designed in such a way as I say you can get a good grip of it but also you can use the tip here with your little finger to open them which I think is quite a clever idea, clever design so you've got quite a grip and you can use that bit to open them with as well and also we have holes for tethering and um, I don't know if you can see in there, but the steel of the handles runs all the way down to the end of the grips. So we've got a nice strong pair of pliers. And the, how they work is they're uh, self-adjusting slip joint pliers. Um, if you know uh, the difference between slip joint and standard pliers. Here we have um, an example of standard pliers. They just pivot just here. Nothing more than that. Uh, slip joint pliers. These are the standard slip joint pliers. They operate like normal pliers, but you open them up and then they become larger pliers so you can get out of uh, much larger items with ease, as you can see there. Uh, this is the uh, 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 Stanley uh, slip joint pliers, slightly more modern in that we have a little push button to get different sizes and again this makes it much easier to get hold of larger items however that style of slip joint pliers does actually require you to use two hands to adjust it uh, these max grips here don't require that you can get hold of uh, standard items like so not a problem. If we move up to something larger, you simply open them up. Now watch this. See that? See how they moved? And you can even get uh, you know the whole the whole bolt in here. Look. See that? And I can still get quite a decent grip of that. Although it's a you know the span is kind of maxed out for my hands, but I can still get quite a good grip of that. But they are um, auto adjusting to suit whatever you're putting in there. Look. Pretty neat. So they're pretty clever aren't they? And as I say you can get a, 
a fairly decent grip on things as well. Look, but it's, uh, this bolt here, I've got a very good grip of that. There's some nice teeth in here, and they get a good grip. It's almost, um, but not quite parallel jaws. You can, you can uh, almost if you get it right, you can get a good grip on uh, more or less the whole um, sort of a straight edge of the bolt here. Look at that. I think I've got it there. There we go. We've almost got it. The teeth are almost touching all of the um, flat there, but not quite. But almost. So I really quite like the uh, the mechanism here. Um, Stanley made some other ones, some other different models that were slightly larger. I believe there was an 8 inch and we have uh, slightly different jaws as you can see here. And there was even uh, a long nose variety of them too which looked quite cool. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to find any of those. Um, other companies made a similar um, tool as well. We have Husky here and I believe the Husky one used exactly the same sort of mechanism as the uh, Stanley's. Um, but just in a sort of more conventional looking um, slip joint style plier. Uh, I can't get out of these uh, those in this country, but I wouldn't mind a set of those Huskies, but I just can't seem to get them in this country at all. But uh, whether I'll find some at the car boot sale, I don't know. But uh, I, I quite like these um, these Stanleys, and they are definitely going into my uh, toolkit. I think what we better do really is uh, whip them down to the workshop and um, just see how good they are. Okay so here we are in the workshop. Um, these are actually of um, laminate construction as you can see there. Um, there's some very nice riveting going on on these pliers. The riveting is very well executed as you can see there. There's the laminate construction again. And they are made in Taiwan, so they should be uh, quite good, good quality uh, pliers. They certainly feel like it anyway. This particular set of pliers has absolutely no cutting facility that I can see on them anyway, so they're only good for like gripping, bending. Um, so look what we've got here then. We've got some um, rigid cable, the kind of stuff we use at work. This is like a, a copper jacket on the outside. Then we have some dielectric and a conductor up the centre. So let's see how good um, these are. I mean I don't think for a moment these are a compound action plier. But we'll see how good they are at uh, squashing this stuff up shall we. Oh, yeah definitely no comp. We can squash them a little bit. Squashes it a little teeny weeny bit look. There's definitely no compound action going on here. It should be relatively easy to um, there we go, we've bent it and in fact broken it too. But obviously they're going to be quite good for manipulating copper wires. You see this one mil stuff here. Can we squash it? Let's have a look. Yeah, quite easily. Squash that up nicely. So quite good for that too. Um, I know pliers are not a spanner, but we'll give them a go on some uh, nuts and bolts. And let's give them a go on this M8 nut and bolt here shall we guys. Uh, you may be able to see them auto adjust. There we go. How much torque can we apply? Yeah quite a bit actually. I've got two hands on the pliers but oh, and we loosened it in the vise as well but there we go. That's got it. Ooh, tighten her up a bit. There we go. Now, can we undo it? Let's have a look. Oh wow, I did that up tight. Brilliant. So they work with an M8. I don't know if anything bigger. And we have this M10 set up here. Got a nut, locked off nut just there. Got a spring washer in there, look. And a plane washer. So let's get that in the vise and see how the pliers deal with this. I think the uh, pliers are going to be a little bit maxed out here. But, um, so look, what's my hand span like? Not too bad. Just compress up the, um, spring washer. Got nice ratchet in action if nothing else. Okay right in both hands here we come. Right in. Oh, wow yeah. Oh, slipped a bit. Can we get any more on that? Probably not actually. 
that's fairly tight. Right, and there we go. So I didn't do too bad then. Now I really do need a new toolbox because my uh, tool drawers, as you can see, are, are getting quite full. Um, here's another pair of pliers I picked up that the same day I bought these little fellows here. They're quite nice. Um, but yeah, the drawers are getting rather full, so I don't think there's going to be enough space. For these Oh, they might live in there. Look at that. Yeah, they'll fit in there a treat. That's good. And it'll close too, so that's even better. But I really do need a new toolbox. Alrighty then, so we've given them a bit of a workout. Um, I like the grips, they're nice and comfortable. So uh, let's get them back up to the studio then. And here we are, back again. So um, what do you guys think of the uh, Stanley 84881s? I think they're quite nice. Um, as I say, I found them in the, the box of tools. I thought, oh nice, look at those. But so look at the quality of finish on them. Look, I mean, I've had to polish them up a little bit. But they've got a quite nice um, finish to them, almost blued. Uh, the finish, the finishing of the riveting is quite nice. So they are made in Taiwan. Taiwan do make some very good quality tools. Um, I think these may have gone on sale in about 2011. I don't know how well they sold. I don't recall um, seeing them for sale anywhere. But I quite like the way the handle is designed. Look, they're different. Each side, let you see, they're obviously ergonomically designed handles. And they are very comfortable. You know, for someone who large hands like myself, I like large pliers. These are seven inch pliers, but they are uh, very comfortable to use. I quite like the way the, uh, the mechanism works. That's pretty neat. And all I've got to do now is try and get hold of some um, the Husky versions and the uh, the other Stanley versions of these two because I believe one of them uh, was an 8 inch one so it's a bit bigger than this with slightly different jaws again uh, laminate and um, riveted construction but these are quite nice the, ma the materials uh, you know the finish feels does that does actually feel quite nice in the hand uh, handles are very nice indeed and I uh, yeah I'm so glad I've uh, got these and they are definitely going to live in my collection of pliers Alrighty guys, well, let me know what you think of the uh, Stanley 84881 pliers. I think they're decent quality myself, they feel nice, they're quite sturdy and well made, even though they're like a laminate construction, I think they're very nice, uh, quite strong, they work really well. We haven't managed to uh, ding the teeth up in our work, so they are uh, nicely hardened. And I quite like them, and they're definitely going into my collection. You can see my other uh, Stanley pliers right here. Brilliant. Okay, everyone, don't forget you can um, subscribe to the channel. That would help me out. Clicking a like, would, click, clicking a like would also help me out, and you can share the video. Uh, you've probably seen these little fellows already on my Instagram post, I've been, Instagram channel. I've been posting them quite a few times up there now, including this morning. So uh, what do you guys think of the pliers? I quite like the, I like the design a lot actually and they are tetherable too which I think is a which is a good feature on pliers you know if you're working up high you don't particularly want to drop them because uh, you could hurt somebody and also it means you've got to go all the way back down to get them and they might be damaged when you do get down there but um, yeah let me know what you think guys um, I hope you enjoyed today's tool talk and I hope you'll pop by in the very near future because I'm sure I've, uh, I'll have uh, other specific tools that I can talk to you about on another episode. So uh, thanks for popping over to Rathbone Manor and thanks for watching. <coughs>